Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, we are going to learn this kind of UFO effect. Also, we will see how you can blend objects and track them in Filmora 12. So without any further delay, let's start today's video. As you can see, this is a normal footage with some camera movement. Then go to the effects. Then go to the Boris FX folder. Then to particles and apply particle illusion on track 2 and make it as long as your clip then launch the particle illusion 2023 if you don't see your footage here then click here and select composite over source video then apply basic emitter select particle node click on shape image then click on import shape then select your ufo png or any image which you want to use then select full color and select image size to 1024 click on apply and then again click on apply then select single particle then select attach to emitter and then select connect to emitter scroll down and change velocity to zero then scroll up and increase the size value now we can see our ufo then select emitter node, change opacity to 100 and add a tint accordingly. Then adjust the position of the UFO, then click on apply. Then scroll down in particle illusion and under transform select emitter, then scroll down and expand motion tracker and launch mocha tracker and another screen will pop up. Make sure your playhead should be at a start or at the end. Then adjust the emitter offset position on a tracking point. Here I am using person head. Then adjust the scale of emitter offset search area and place it on the person head. Make sure emitter offset should be under the circle. Then hit track forward button and you will see it will track down the head movement. Once tracking is done, save the data and close the window. Now you will see UFO is moved from its position. To fix it, scroll down in the effect setting and adjust the emitter X and Y value to position the UFO. Now when I play the clip, you will notice that the UFO is moving along the camera movement. Next, you can't do any color correction on the particle illusion because it is an effect. So for that, hide your main clip and launch particle illusion again. Then click on file and select render project, give name to your clip and under preset select ProRes 4444 for without background render and click on render. Close this window and close particle illusion and delete the particle illusion effect. Unhide your main clip, then go to the media and import your exported UFO clip, place it on track 2. Now we need to do some color adjustment to blend it with the video. For that go to the color. If you have any preset or LUT you can use them or you can adjust the exposure, brightness, contrast, then adjust highlight, shadow, white and black balance. Then go to the curves and change alpha curve to something like this. Adjust it in a way that you can go nearby the blending. Then add bit of red as it is a golden hour time. Then add bit of purple and bit of blue. Then go to the effects and in new blue FX filters folder apply tint effect and adjust the white tint value. Then adjust saturation. Then brightness. And add film gamma. Then add another tint effect. This time change tint color to gray and adjust the tint value, saturation and brightness. Now to add cloud in front of UFO, duplicate the main clip on track 3, reduce the opacity, then go to the mask and use pen tool to create mask around the cloud which is behind the UFO. Then change opacity to 100 and then go to the mask and add blur strength. Then adjust the position and reduce the opacity accordingly. 
then apply adjustment layer and do further color correction of whole footage then go to the effects and apply s lock 3 effect and adjust the opacity accordingly then apply sharpen effect and increase sharpness to 50 now let's render it to see the final preview this is how you can blend and track ufo inside filmora 12 that's it for the day if you like this tutorial hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more awesome tutorials see you all in my next video till then stay safe goodbye